Hi, welcome to Oprah Hamster. Previously I did an unboxing of the Terramaster and this, the, the model is F2 and AES2. So in this video I'll be recording the setup process. And first thing I did was I put in my Seagate two terabyte hard drives, simply just screw it on and inserting the hard drives and powering it up. Now I'm going to demonstrate how I set it up. So it did not come with a CD. So I scrolled to the bottom of the Terramaster website. Let's go download. Then I'm going to select the unit I received, which is the F2 NAS2. And I'm demonstrating this on a Mac. Both of these versions says for Mac OS. And I actually downloaded them already. I put them in a folder called Terramaster. So here I'm just going to extract it. Extract. Okay, so there's a one Java file. And also I downloaded the user manual ahead of time, which is right here. So, since I got this Java file, right click on it, and let's go to open. It's unsigned, am I sure? Yes, I'm going to open this up. And right now, I guess it looks like it's trying to scan my home network, I'm looking for the TerraMaster. If I click this drop down, nothing shows up. So, I'm not sure why nothing's coming up. I'm going to open up this Java. It still hasn't found the Terramaster in my local drive. So there's another way to find the IP address for a Terramaster. So this is the Action Tech router given to me by Verizon. And on most routers, they always have a client list, a, a client table. So here it lists all the devices, names, and also the, their IP address. And I, since it's a new host, I, this is the one I do not recognize. I was going to take that IP put it on my web browser, and just hit go. I can hear the hard drives crunching on Terramaster. All right, so this is the one for Terramaster. And it says that there's a new update version out there. I'm gonna hit, okay, let's go update this. As the current version is 5.2.506. Uh, before updating software, make sure that software is current mesh device. Download the software from the Terramaster website. All right, 2.506. So interestingly, there's the newest version is 2.506, but it says my current version is 2.506. So I'm not sure why it's saying that. And check. All right, it still says that. Oh, so when I check the online update, it says that there's a new, even newer one, 2.510. Whereas on the Terramaster website, I don't even see this listed. On the Terramaster website, it just has my current version over here available for download. All right, update successful. Device has been started. The page will automatically reconnect in a few minutes. Okay. After the reboot, it loaded the initialization page again. So now I'm just going through the setup process. So step one, device name, password, date, set date, time, network information, boot up tasks, and format the hard drives. Hard disk one, self-examination uh, process. Took about, it took about two minutes, please wait. Yeah. Okay, now the hard drive's examination finished. So I'm gonna hit next. And give my device a name, um, TNAS. Okay, good. I'm going to change the username and password. It's always better not to use a default. All right, once I pick my new password, next. Now, pick my location. I'm in the USA, so New York. Set with the government in a 12 hour. Next. My name is keep as dynamic. Later on, I'll change it to a static IP. So there's some of the network speeds options. Keep it as 100 megabit or a gigabit. Next. So here's a list of the startup tasks. Some of them are pre-selected for us. So FTP, yes, I do want that. SSH, Telnet. I'm gonna keep it as default for now, and just click next. 
So here I'm going to choose either between RAID 0 or RAID 1. I'm going to choose RAID 1 because I do want the redundancy. So in case OneDrive fails, oop, got to check the hard drives. Okay, both of them. And all right, now it will erase the drives. Now it's going over the summary of what I selected and I chose RAID 1 complete. Let's see how long it'll take to initialize. So as mentioned earlier, the hard drives I placed in there are Seagate Barracudas. They're two terabytes each. And since this is my first time using a Terramaster, what I also did was I got the same model, same brand name, same model hard drives. That's just a good rule to follow. Well, it says 99% here, but the progress bar says 100%. Well, let's just go over everything. All right, so set the creative groups, set device name, set the password, time zone, system time, the network, the startup tasks, and now for formatting, it's also 100%. So it says uh, initialize complete. Please install and use the ClickCloud software client to use the device. So here's the client. I still have it running. Let me close this client and it's running again. So this was that one I down from the T Cloud website, support website. And it's still scanning. Hmm. Let me refresh my uh, router table here. So now I should see the, the new host name here. Hmm. Initially, when I downloaded the T Cloud, I downloaded it last week, and at the time it was version 2. But when I started, took a closer look at this and moved my mouse over it, the newest version is 2.508. So I downloaded it again. So here's the new, newer version of a T Cloud. I'm going to close this one, the version 2, since it's not even working. And I'm going to launch this Java file. Just right click and open. And let's see if this one finds the no. Close that again. I'm trying again. Hmm. So this is the latest version, and all right. At this time, as it's it's scanning something. Okay, I just finished scanning, but when I click on this drop down, still nothing comes up. I'm going to choose the drop down, and now I'm going to choose the T Cloud client. I'm going to choose, since I'm on a Mac, I'm going to download the Mac version. And while that's downloading, I'm also going to take a look at the release notes. And release notes just says, well, same thing. Update time 2014. The client finished downloading. I'm just going to move it to this T Cloud folder. I'm just going to extract it to. It's another Java file. So I'm right click on it, open. And yes, open this. It's scanning. Click this drop down menu. And uh, no. So, so far, none of these three Java apps work. Not the version 2.0, not the 2.508, and not the 2.511. Now I'll be using Terramaster Client on a Windows computer. I launched the T-Cloud again. And let us search. Okay, so it found it this time. But what's in interesting is that the IP is 192.168.0.200. I'm not sure why it's using zero since that's not what my router typically assigns. So I'm going to click the TOS login and it's 
it detects that there's a, uh, a different subnet. So he asked someone to change the IP um, and change it manually. So I'm going to give it like something that's about, let's call it 33 for now. Let's hit OK. Let's do a search again. Can't find it. All right, so now I found it. Someone clicked login again too. Trying to, I should try to load the one nine two that one six eight that one that thirty three, which it does up here, and it's on port eighty one eighty one. Okay, so now I'm gonna try logging in. Alright, so I'm actually now logged into the Terra Master and it shows my firmware, my device name, and let's take a look at system status. I'm going to minimize this for a sec. So let's take a look at the hardware information. It just shows operating temperature, memory, device temperature. Alright, we've got application status. Okay, and so resource monitor. Span this one a little bit. So here I can monitor my CPU utilization in real time, memory uses, disk usage. I can even track my bandwidth. Okay. And the process names. Let me close this tab. Here's just the file structures. Now let's look at control panel now. System settings. Let's go to network first. So apparently I can't use this one, the, dy the dynamic one, because it actually doesn't, it's not actually dynamic, it's not actually pulling information from my router. And it somehow didn't use the correct gateway. My gateway's not even this, it's supposed to be this IP. Okay. Setup is complete. Click here to go back home. Now I'm going to try accessing from my Mac computer. And, yep, loads right up. So during the initial setup process, there were the tasks that I chose for a startup initially. So later on, if I change my mind and I want to enable some of them, I can just head back to the system settings, go to startup tasks, and select these. And so for all, all intents and purposes, setup is complete. I can begin using it. So on my Mac computer, my in Finder, I see the TNAS, this one right here, and choose connect as. And I have access to all the folders on this NAS drive. I can do the same thing on the Windows computer, on get an FTP client installed on my smartphone or a tablet, and well, start sharing and backing my files. Well, thank you for watching this set of video of the TerraMaster F2 NAS2. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching, Walker Hamster. Bye.